Lai. The first two words of the Chinese national anthem are Qi Lai, which means arise. The words became the title of U.S. singer Paul Robeson's album dedicated to the Chinese people who were fighting against Japanese invaders. A year after first performing the song at his concert in New York City in 1940, Robeson recorded it. And on the cover, he described the song as the battle song of the Chinese people fighting for freedom. And also on the cover was the name of Liu Liangmo, who taught Robeson the song. The two met in 1940 in New York. Liu told Robeson about the struggle of the Chinese people and hoped he would support them. Robeson not only agreed but decided to sing the March of the Volunteers, already one of the most famous songs in China at the time, in Chinese. He performed it at many rallies in the U.S. as Liu stood by him and translated the lyrics for the U.S. listeners. The March of the Volunteers was first written in 1935. After the Japanese invaded northeastern China in an attempt to occupy the whole country, its lyrics call on the whole nation to rise up against foreign intrusion and has served as inspiration to generations of Chinese people. Israel Epstein, a correspondent for the Allied Labor News of the U.S., was the first journalist to report about the song to the world. In 1938. Epstein witnessed the Battle of Taizhuang, the first major Chinese victory during the War of Resistance against Japanese aggression. He said many Chinese soldiers were marching to the front lines of battle under the anthemic song. He said the song had been embedded in the hearts of Chinese people. Quan Chengchen, CCTV.